All right, good morning, YouTube gun community. John with New H7. This is a different uh, subject for me. Uh, it's in line with my other, some of my reloading uh, videos. What we're going to talk about today are what if primers are unavailable? Uh, right now, they're very short supply. You can find them somewhat, but uh, they are in short supply. What we, what can you do if ever? they're not available and uh, what I have done here here's a couple examples here of uh, some of the garage gorilla primers that I've made and uh, it is a viable alternative it's not the best but it is better than nothing let me show you what the components are okay the uh, main Things you're going to need for this are some old spent primers. This is a coffee can I've been collecting them in for years. Uh, just to get a little look at them, you can see these are all spent primers. Uh, a lot of those in there right now are small pistol and small rifle primers. We're going to mainly rely on or concentrate on the large primers, large pistol primers. We're going to start with that. We need uh, a spent primer. See, it's got little in it where it's been hit by the firing pin and these are caps you know from when you were a kid you had cap guns I, I have these for a while keep them in plastic keep them dry and, and of course we need some cases that we're going to load up and let's see what we're going to do here now I know that some people I've seen use the uh, tips off of strike anywhere matches where they cut the tips off and they make a solution and put it in the primers so we're not going to go that route because it seems like a lot of uh, extra work but we're going to make ours out of caps okay one of the tricky things about this is this is a large primer so we've got to get these anvils out of here whoop there we go that's the anvil part there that's a little tripod looking thing. Let me get it back in frame here. That little doohickey right there. That fits down inside there and that is what the firing pin hits against to detonate the primer. I'm going to get another one out of there. We're going to do a couple of these. Okay, now that we got some anvils out, let's proceed. I have three anvils and four primers and we're going to uh, take the dents out of them. What we're going to do you can see this is a tedious little project here. We've got to get the firing pin dent out of it. We're going to take it over to a uh, our vise and a punch from the inside we're going to try to flatten that out. So what we want to end up with is much less dent. See that one? You can still see where the primer dinged on that one but that is ready to go. So those two are ready to go. Let's uh, let's see what we can okay. do. What I've done, I got a little piece of metal here. I'm going to put the punch in just a little bit smaller than the diameter of the primer. Maybe it should go smaller than that. Well, let's try that. Good wax. It takes most of the most of the dent out. Do another one, just so you guys can see how it's done. One, two, three. just a couple of light wax. Now, this is not, I'm not the first one to do this on YouTube. Um, Ammo Smith, I think is his channel name. He does something similar to that, to this. He even, even has done it with Burdan primers. I'm not that ambitious yet. But I think he does it with match tips for the uh, primering compound. And I've also, I think I read this in a, an old Duncan Long book. Duncan Long was a writer from the 80s, 70s, something like that. Did a lot of prepping kind of stuff, survival, things like that. He may still be around, I don't know. Okay. All right, I'm just going to take the, a pocket screwdriver and kind of clean those out a little bit too. <laughs> Any old compound, soot, carbon, stuff like that. <laughs> Whoop. 
Okay, we're ready for our next step. I have four ready to go. And let me back up. Okay, now we're going to talk about the uh, the caps themselves. I mean, you know, when I was a kid, we used to grow up, their caps were all over the place. This is a caps in the rolls. I'm sure you may have seen those. This is also caps that come in a flat sheet. I'm not sure what the, how that is. I use these here because they're easier to trim. Anyway, what uh, you'll do, or I, what I do, just take one of these off of here. And then I got a pair of scissors. And I'm going to cut all the paper off around the primer, or the compound. You want to leave a little bit of the paper there. Oops, let me get back here and phone, phone, and phone, and frame, John. Like I said, you can do this with a, uh, I've done it with a X-Acto knife, scissors, or whatever works best for you. Now, yeah. hard to do it here through the camera. So you get the idea. We're going to cut that out, and then we're going to drop it down into the uh, the resized okay, primer. Here is our cap, paper cap. After we have trimmed it, I'm going to use that, and then use our punch to gently push it down in there. Whoop! Try that again. Try smaller. Mm -hmm. You can see how tedious this is. This is why you wouldn't want to have to make a bunch of these. It'd drive you crazy. Okay. Okay, what you want to do is take the anvil thing. Make sure that you put the pointy end down. And if you don't remember, I got another one. You can look at an old, another one that you have stuck in my finger next to it there. So you get the orientation correct. Now make sure that you have safety glasses on or eyeglasses on because this can be dangerous. They can go off. And you don't want that to happen. And I'm going to get that in there a little straighter off camera because it's hard to work on through here. And then I'm going to seat it. Okay, I have the primer. This is a Lee priming tool with the uh, shell holder for the 45 ACP. I'm going to put the size case in there and deprimed and gently push that in there. And there's your prime case. We're going to do that several more times and then we'll s go on to test. Okay, if we're going to build the Gorilla Ammo from what I'm naming this project with uh, caps for primers, remade primers, we're going to even go out. These are some 230 grain bullets. If you can see there's rifling on them. I picked these up at the range out of the backstop and if you look at them Besides the rifling, they looked almost as if they can be reloaded. So what we're going to do, we're going to do an experiment. We're going to reload these. They didn't come out of my gun. But then uh, if you're in a last-ditch situation, you might have to resort to something like this. So we're going to experiment with the primers and the uh, salvaged full metal jacket bullets. We're going to load them up and we're going to test them. All right, this is going to be our test mule for our uh, Gorilla Ammo. This is my uh, Colt <clears throat> 1911 Commander. Uh, this is a Series 80. It's probably built in the 1984 era or so. I know you guys might cringe. You're shooting um, once fired bullets out of it, but you know what? This is a proof of concept experiment. So I don't think that uh, five rounds through here is going to damage my gun. And, well, it shouldn't because the, the brass is going to be much less or softer than the steel in the barrel. I think we're going to be okay. All right, 
when we get to the range, let's see how this goes. Five All rounds. Right. We're going to test the uh, Gorilla ammo here. Five rounds on the 45 Auto. Check it for function, and we're running across the uh, chronograph, and we'll do uh, a target test, an accuracy test, about 10 yards. Colt 1911 Combat Commander. Seven oh two. Six eighty one. Three out of five go off. Let's go look at the target. All right, there's our one, two, three shots. Pretty well spread out, but it is gorilla ammo. Come on now. That's what, about uh, one, two, three, four to five inches. All right, here's the average of 649 for the uh, velocity. High was 702, low was 565. Extreme spread. 137, that's pretty high. Standard deviation, 73. There's shot one, shot two, and number three. So we had three of them go off of the five. That's, we'll have to work on it. I'm, maybe I'll take apart those two that didn't go, make sure, see what's going on with the primers. All right, we're gonna keep working on this project. All right. Thanks for watching. This is John with NoH7 signing out.